We're here today to talk with Rev. Kimmy. Kimmy Bloomberg Seamus. Uh, Kimmy, you're a reverend. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you have a ministry of some sorts. Mm -hmm. And for the benefit of uh, any first-time viewers in the audience, would you please share with us uh, briefly, what does your ministry involve? Uh, well, I'm a licensed Christian ordained reverend. And I've been in ministry over 20 years. It's a care ministry. For 20 years, it included hospitals. It was about 100 people a week at convalescent hospitals and ICU, ER, regular beds, hospice, sometimes mental wards. Okay. And so from A to Z, and then, but the care ministry also includes missing persons, alive or dead. Right, and that, that's how you came in contact with me and mm -hmm. reached out to me and, mm -hmm. and we worked on a few of those and, and you were spot on, you know, without having read any of well, the documents. Well, spot on, I don't think people understand. It's a, I use my prophetic gift in yeah. missing person cases. Um, God gives me revelation information mm -hmm. that only he reveals and would know of what's going to occur in the future. For instance, in hospital ministry, if somebody is, um, about to die, he would give me that information yeah. to prepare someone for heaven or in the alternative, some event or missing person case where the person is, the, I report it to the police, they go there and they're there. Yeah. Um, those are just a few examples, but that's how it works. It's, it's something that comes to pass. Right. Because it's and, gone. And for the benefit of those first time viewers again, uh, that's one thing I learned. You're not a clairvoyant, a medium, a psychic. Uh, mm -hmm. You don't play with crystal balls or Ouija boards. No. You have a gift of prophecy that's biblically based. And uh, just for their benefit, would it's you been going on share since 1998 when I was saved. Okay. Yeah. And share with them uh, how does God reveal these truths to you and uh, how much detail is in them? And, and, and like, is it a vision like you all of a sudden you see a TV playing out in front of you? Do you mm -hmm. have a dream or is it just an impression? Uh, how does God do this gift of prophecy thing? Well, you could either have a vision while you're awake or in the alternative while you're sleeping. So it's a prophetic dream. Okay. And um, if awake, it is not like watching TV. It is impression only. And um, with regards to sleeping, though, as we all know, it is very vivid, like TV. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well. Uh, this, this gift of prophecy is found in the book, uh, the Holy Bible, in the book of Acts, chapter 2. It says that men and women will prophesy and dream dreams. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, and it's a gift that God encourages people to um, to, to covet, to oh. to try to get the gift that I have of prophecy. Okay. Um, now this is this is the of all the interviews that you have posted that we've mm -hmm. done. Yeah, pinned to my Facebook. Uh, this mm -hmm. is the most uh, out of. The norm compared to right because we usually just talk about the missing person cases. Some. Yeah, yeah, I don't talk about all of them. I just talk about some successful ones. Yeah. But you, you yeah. last year, about a year ago now actually, mm -hmm. you uh, forwarded uh, a copy of an email that you had sent to law enforcement officials, and we had just gone through a terrible summer in Minnesota with uh, the burning of Lake Street, University Avenue in St. Paul. Um, miles of it just devastated. The police precinct attacked. Um, in coronavirus? Yep. Yeah, in and, 2020. And then, of course, Seattle, Portland, Oakland, they, they, they all had their problems. Mm -hmm. um, some other cities in mm -hmm. the United States. Uh, and being in intelligence for 10 years, I'm, I'm acutely aware of where issues and problems could occur. And, and when this event happened, uh, I was just shocked at the accuracy of what God revealed to you. Mm -hmm. And 
like I said, it was, I mean, you told us about this, and I'm like, holy cow. Yeah, it's in writing in an email I sent to and you and to law enforcement. Less than a month them. later, you uh -huh. know, so for our viewers, mm -hmm. for your viewers, uh, can you share with us uh, how this transpired for you and some of the detail that mm -hmm. God revealed to you? Yeah, um, I just live a normal life, just like you do or, or anybody watching this. Um, you know, I'm in judicial law. I'm, you know, I investigate for a living. <laughs> you know, I do uh, judicial law litigation, heavy litigation and trials. So there is, involves investigation. So I, I, you know, use that into um, these videos of trying to show people that God is real. Or how would I know this information that is disclosed to me from God prior to the occurrence of the event? So, you know, I'm just a normal person. So I'm out, I can be out grocery shopping and all of a sudden God shows me a vision, which is an impression. I don't really see or hear things. And um, he showed me uh, there's going to be a, he was giving me a warning of an upcoming event of a, a, a bombing of a homemade bomb and that it would be in a city in America and to stay out of buildings, stay out of the street near the buildings, but you can stay, you'll be safe if you go down the street where there are no buildings. Then the information just leaves. So then I know from all the years of experience since 1998, when God shows me some, it happens. So I was very concerned. So, you know, I do communicate with law enforcement, being that I'm involved with missing persons since 1997. And so a captain I know, I emailed him to give him a heads up on it. Though I didn't know which city, but I knew it was in America, what good is it really to him? Who knows what he really did with that information, being that it's vague, right? Mm -hmm. But I cared enough. I didn't want anything to happen to him or any other police officer or citizen. So I felt compelled to write him. I wrote you. He, you were CC'd on that email and other people to warn them that this was coming down the pike. Mm hmm I, I mean, I, there's yep. no way I can sleep. Though I didn't know exactly what city, I couldn't not say something. I, The guilt, <laughs> you know. So anyway, um, God gave me this warning about a month prior to the event occurring, yep. which was the Tennessee bombing on Christmas Day in 2020. Yep. There was a man who had a motorhome. We all saw it on TV, if not Google it. Um, there was a man who committed suicide in his motor home in Tennessee and yeah. on Christmas Day 2020. And that is the aftermath. I have aftermath photos because I had a friend who lived there. I kept a copy of his photos. And so people can see him in the comments to my Facebook um, video, this video, I'm not on my YouTube. I can't um, attach any kind of um, evidence in the comments, but on Facebook I can. Okay. So um, they and need the to look. At, they need to look at the photos to see that my email that I say you'll be safe in the area, away from the buildings, and not in the street near the buildings. You'll see it looks like a war zone, and people that they will see that that is accurate to the T. To stay down the street, away yeah. from the buildings, yeah. you'll be fine there, and that's exactly what happened. Yeah. And it was a home bomb, a homemade bomb. Yeah. Unfortunately. And when these things come to pass, because this happens often, this is not the first time God has done this. I just don't talk about it publicly. Um, when it happens, I just, it's very, um, a little just rattles you up, you know, because I am human just like anyone else. Like, oh my gosh, another one that, that, that comes to pass according to what it is that he showed me. But God is good and wanted to prevent that. There's no way that God would want that to occur. And for him to die, this the man who committed suicide, God cares, and he tried to stop it by warning. And I'm sure I'm probably not the only person he warned. Oh, yeah. I hadn't thought of that. It's true. There's no, there's other people who are like me and have gifts like this. Prophets around the country that... Yeah. Yeah, and, and that helps to... Uh, 
confirm, reaffirm the power and the, the all-knowing, the omniscience and omnipotence. Of, and God of loves God. people. God cares. Yeah. 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 So, in wrapping up, is there anything else you'd like to say? What is the address for your Facebook? It's Kimmy Bloomberg, K-Y-M-M-I, Bloomberg, B-L-O-O-M-B-E-R-G. If they want to see the evidence in the aftermath photos, they need to go to my Facebook. Okay. And look in the comments to this video. All righty. Well, thank you. Thank you.